Christmas may be a couple weeks away, but for those in charge of making sure all your trinkets and treasures make it in time, the season's onslaught is happening right now. Millions upon millions of packages are winging their way across the country as I speak. One of the busiest shipping nights of all time. ABC's John Donvan brings us behind the scenes look at the people who are hard at work trying to outdo the big man up north. The story of a pie in a box at Christmas time and of the many people who helped get it from point A off to Honolulu to point B. I hope it's something good. Which is the story of FedEx, which, like UPS and the U.S. Postal Service, is how Christmas gets handled nowadays. I'm shipping a handcrafted, welded metal bookend. Especially today, the busiest day of the year for FedEx, shipping an estimated 19 million packages, thanks to the start of the busiest week of the year for online shopping. Now I'm scrambling to keep up. For the rest of the procrastinators, there are still 14 shopping days left, which translates into how many shipping days? Well, that depends on what you're sending and how much you're willing to spend. Even though the U.S. Postal Service can be cheaper, if you're down to the wire, FedEx and UPS can save the day with last-minute deliveries. Which brings us back to our pie, which I picked up in the historic little town of Occoquan, Virginia, from a friendly little place called, well, you see the sign. Hi. Hi. John. Avis, how are you? Meet Mom. Avis Renshaw. Uh, then we move into cherries. And as Ava showed me what was on offer, I explained that I had it in mind to send the pie to my friend and colleague Yunji Denise. Good evening, I'm Yunji Denise. One time ABC News reporter, now happily anchoring the news at station KITV in Honolulu, Hawaii. Distance involved, roughly 6,000 miles. My deadline for getting the pie to her, 24 hours. Have you sent pies to Hawaii before? And they get there in one piece? Amazingly, but yes, they do. Cranberry apple. That's what went into the FedEx box. For precious or fragile items, best to leave the packaging to the professionals. Have a great day. And our pie is out the door. First human link in the FedEx chain, the first of many. I placed the pies securely in one designated area of my truck. For the next few hours, you see that purple line? That's our pie on its journey, headed for Memphis, Tennessee. Why Memphis? Well, look at this place. It is FedEx's global super hub which at more than 800 acres feels more like a military base than a shipping facility. And with Christmas approaching, it's a military base that's gearing up for battle. It's what we prepare for. It's our Super Bowl. So this is, we, your Super this Bowl. is our Super Bowl. Marcus Martinez keeps the planes running on time and the vans and the trucks and 42 miles of conveyor belts. Every FedEx package is sent first to a hub like this before going on its journey. How big a surge comes in the holiday season? Here in Memphis, we'll go from about 1.5 million a night to a little between 1.9 and 2.1 million a night. FedEx 1563 pushback approved, 18 right. Let's check in on our pie, which they were kind enough to track just for us. It's coming in for a landing soon, so out onto the tarmac, where it's non-stop on the runways. Okay, so these are these are now all incoming still. Exactly. We're going to bring in about 155 jet aircraft tonight. Another, tonight alone. Tonight alone. How busy does this place get compared to other airports? Well, after dark, it's actually the busiest airport in the world. Come on, y'all, bring it up! In fact, most of the work here happens after midnight. Timing is everything. Back in the command center and on screens all over, a clock is counting down the deadline for getting all the packages in and out again. And then our pie is now safely on the ground, thanks to these two members of the Nightline Pie Delivery Team. Thanks to the fine landing by my first officer here, the pie made it in one piece. Normally the pie would be in one of these shipping containers. So where's our pie? We have your pie right here. But for now, it's being carried so that we can track it through our next stop. They call this the Matrix. If you stand here for 15 minutes, you will see the world's economy pass before your eyes. It's a whole building functioning as a sorting machine. The incoming packages slide in here. You will see major tech shipments. You will see medical shipments. And a pie. And a pie. Into the matrix goes our box with the pie inside, courtesy of Lawrence Wick. The package never stopped coming, so I got to get back to start sorting, OK? And the box, well, once it drops out of sight into some hidden place of chutes and conveyor belts and scanners, it gets steered by belt to another building. Ten minutes later, it comes down a chute and there gets picked up and put into a container. Off to Honolulu. And then it's out to the runway and takeoff. 
And six hours later, landing in Hawaii. Our last driver to deliver. I hope this is something that you're waiting for. I hope it's something good. Ooh. And happy holidays, Yunji. Thanks, John. <laughs> well, don't just thank me. Avis and Diane and John and Bill and Marcus and Lawrence and Paul and Mel and Greg and Daryl all had a hand in getting you that pie. I'm John Donvan for Nightline.